everybody, my name is Chase Pipes, and you're watching Chasing History, brought to you by Smoky Mountain Relic Room and American Digger Magazine, and we're back out digging dinosaurs, man, in western Colorado with our good buddy Tyree Lamp. Ty, <laughs> thanks for having us back. We are out on the Dinosaur Dude Ranch. This is this awesome operation that Ty's got going on here, where you, you, you can actually come out here and dig and discover dinosaurs. Dude, this is so nuts, man. <laughs> what the heck? I thought fossils were this really rare suit people well, if you watch I mean, it's What's rare is where you can dig them. Right. And what's even more rare is somebody allow, wanting to share. Um, I mean, we do this for profit. We do this as a living. But we've decided to start allowing the public to come in and get to experience this and get to enjoy this. See, that's awesome, man. I mean, because you wouldn't think that you would have the opportunity to come out and dig dinosaur fossils, but you can. And I mean, and this is a whole experience that you've oh, yeah. got going on here. Oh, yeah. I mean, you're, it, you call it the Dinosaur Dude Ranch, <laughs> but I mean, it really is an awesome operation going on. Yeah. What all do you have? What are the well, amenities? we call it the Dude Ranch because we pretty much do you out. We've got cabins, we've got showers. We, we'll cook the meals. I mean, we'll custom fit it to tailor to you. You come out, you can spend one day as you're traveling through, want to go out to Dinosaur Colorado and see Dinosaur National Monument. You stop here for a day and we'll play with some dinosaurs yourself. Or you stop here and you spend a week here and help us get some big bones out of the ground. Scott, see, that's awesome, man. And when they say cabins, it's, it's really nice. I mean, they've got all kinds of cabins, showers, uh, food, all the all the awesome stuff yeah. that you would want. I mean, this truly is an experience. And you're just how far from Dinosaur, Colorado? We're like 30, 40 minutes from the east entrance of the park. So, I mean, you're not far from an amazing yeah. site. And it's this is <laughs> so. So, is this part of that same formation? It is the exact same formation. So, it's what the Morrison for Morrison formation? It's Jurassic. It's about 150 million years old. Okay, so so people can actually come out and have the opportunity to dig Jurassic di dinosaurs. Period dinosaur yes. bones. That is insane. Yes. What kind of species were running around in the Jurassic? Uh, we've got Camarasaur and Diplodocus and Apatosaur and. Othnelia and Torvosaur and Allosaur and we've pulled a lot of different species out of this hole in the ground. So what kind of species have you found here at this Those site? Those were all found here at this site. So that One entire most... list that you just yes. gave is all species that you've that pulled come out, out. Of here, yes. That is nuts, man. <laughs> that is awesome. You know, I see, you know, they've got a lot of long long bones coming out. Or what were the average size of dinosaurs in this period? A lot, well, a lot of these dinosaurs that we're finding the sauropods, the big long neck dinosaurs. I mean, we're anywhere from 50 to 80 feet long. I mean, most of the dinosaurs we're finding are giant. The legs are anywhere from 9 to 14 feet tall, just on the leg. That's insane. That's nuts, man. That's so cool. So what kind of experiences can people have coming out here? I mean, what are well, you going to set them up doing? What are they going to be digging? A lot of it depends on what they want to do. We had some people out the other day that came out, and they all each kind of had in their mind the vision of what it was to dig dinosaurs to them. Some of them want to help us dig, work on dig big bones. Some of them want to pull back rock and find their own bone. Some people wanted to just find little small things. We put them on a layer that they could find little small teeth and stuff. We had one old gentleman. He came just with the intention he wanted to plaster a bone. That's something he'd always seen on TV, and that was his bucket list item. He was 76 years old, so he helped me jack it and flip over a bone, and he was ecstatic. That's awesome. So just like what we got going just on like back, we here, did back here, yeah. if people want to come out and do the whole paleontologist oh, yeah. Well, thing, yeah. If you want, if you want to start working the wall back and find a bone and work it out. And we'll help you every step of the way, get all the way to where you put a jacket on it and get it out of the ground. Now, is it just bone, or is there teeth and stuff no, here? No, there's a lot of teeth. There's a lot of teeth in here. We have a layer that's called salt and pepper that has a lot of teeth in it. Now, what is it about dinosaurs? Why are there so many teeth? Well, they're like the sharks, where they actually replace their teeth uh, as they wore down. The next teeth would come up underneath and push them out and be replaced. So they're always cycling through new teeth. So that's why you can see so many dinosaur teeth. I mean, you yeah, know, you shark a loses, lot of teeth. Yeah. Yeah, a shark loses an average of 25,000 teeth within its lifetime. And you're talking millions of years and yeah. millions of spe you know, millions of different animals running around, hundreds of species. That's a lot of teeth. It is. And because they're very heavy and very dense, they separate out. It's called river sorting. That be, uh, just like gold nuggets, because they're heavier and dense, they deposit in certain areas in the river. Huh. So when the spring flood had come in and wash all those teeth and all those bones down, they would catch in certain areas. So there's more areas that are more 
dense with teeth. So that's why you get larger concentrations. Yes. That made sense. I never realized that. Yeah. No, that makes a lot of sense. So what do we got going on here? Well, this was one of our diggers today. He wanted to find his own bone and he started digging into the wall and he hit a bone. <laughs> And then it hit a bone, and then it hit a bone. So what we actually have ended up with that we've been working on, this has just been in the last four hours. This is nuts. So this, this has is a, literally been within the last four hours. This is going to be a complete, hours. articulate, mostly articulated sauropod foot. Come here, check this out. Okay, so this is going to be a, probably be a camarasaur. And they had a foot, their front foot like this. And this toe that stuck out had a claw at the end of it. So this is a giant single claw on the end of this toe. And it's attached to the other two toes. And it would have been on one of these metatarsals here. It's drifted off and slid up. As the water current pushed it this way and it rotted and de it came apart, it drifted up. That so is right insane. Now, that's got, a claw? That's a claw. Or an ungle if you would, if you want to be technical. Claws, toes, metatarsals. Metatarsals are up here in the foot. And we have one, two, three, four, five. We have all five of them. So that's a complete top of the foot, and we have this complete toe now. We have the astragalus and calcaneum, which is part of the ankle. And what we're assuming is down in here, we're going to find the other toes, and the rest of this foot will be all articulated. It'll be a complete foot this guy found. So this just happened within the past four hours, right? Yeah, he found this this morning. Um, and then it turned into something, which usually is the way it works around here. You find one bone, and before you're too long, you've got a bunch tangled up together. That's nuts! But the difference with this one is, is this is what's called articulated, which means it was all the bones in a foot that are all still pretty much together. They're all as they were on the animal. So when this rotted out, I mean, it was basically, you know, all in... Yeah, One this was position. a complete foot that washed down and got buried in the mud, and it's moved a little bit, but it's pretty much in place the way it should be sitting. No way! So this is, well, what species is this? Well, I believe this is Camarasaur. We won't know for sure until we get a little bit more cleaned up, but I believe it's Camarasaur. So is that one of the great the big... Big, long neck dinosaur. They had no big, way. flat, wedged teeth. They ate a lot of woody material, vegetation, and stuff like that. That's not... That's so cool, man. What, what are some of the bones in here? So this is the front foot. Okay. So just like our hands, they've got a thumb that stuck out sideways. And that thumb that stuck out had a claw at the end of it, a big ungle. So this is actually nuts. a big claw. Would it have had like a keratin on it? Yeah, it would have had a keratin sheath, just like a dog, a cat today would have had that sheath on it. No way, that's yeah. cool. So the, the, the claw that you see is actually just the bone that would have been inside the claw. Okay, okay. Yeah. That's awesome. So we've got all the metatarsals. There's one, two, three, four, five. So that's the top of the hand, one, two, three, four, five. And then the astragalus and calcaneum up here in the, in the would have been the ankle all the thumb bones sticking out and we're hoping the rest of these fingers are going down here into the hill that's so cool and what's neat is is i mean this this was just found this was I just mean, found this morning yeah when, we had no idea this was here when when we were digging yesterday there was just this little bit we were sitting here yeah. <laughs> and then we dig down and pfft, there it is that's awesome man yeah. so it just goes to show you know you never know what kind of adventure that you're no. going to be on out here <laughs> at the dinosaur dude ranch dude nope. that's so awesome if yeah. people want to get a hold of you if they want to come out and do this how can people do that well one thing you can do is you can look at our facebook page utah dump digger and see a lot of this that we're doing and see all the fun things that we pulled out of the ground, all the dinosaurs we've done over the years. But we'll give you a flyer you can put up at the end of the, the program and we'll it'll have all our contact information on it. And if you guys want to, you can always throw some comments down and we'd be happy yep. in, in the video and we'd be happy to get you guys in touch with Ty oh, yeah. or in touch with Ty. So, dude, thank you, you so much for having <laughs> us out. And if you want to come out and chase this history, you can. At the end of this video, there's going to be some information that you guys can check out. Give Ty a call. Come out and do this. It's affordable. You guys out there can come out and do this. And you can... Ah, discover your own bit of history how awesome is that so thank you guys so much for watching be sure to like this video if you did like it subscribe to our youtube channel if you so choose to and please leave comments on the video tell us how we're doing if you like us if you don't and check out all of our other episodes we've got a lot of other episodes back in our catalog of ty talking about dinosaur bones and many other many other things so <laughs> dude thank you so much remember history rocks Woohoo!
We will never, ever, ever be on Twitter. Twitter is evil. That's why we're not on Twitter. But you can follow us on Facebook and YouTube and all those other stuff.